Hey folks, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we did a bunch of stuff exploring the grove, fought some harpies, uh, going. met Maul and her gang, uh, helped Alfira with her music. I think that's about all the so important. You know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, yes. That, uh... Does seem like finding Lazel's people should be a priority. But I do also want to help the tieflings. This is where that hidden cache is supposed to be. The one we found a map to. Guess we should go and investigate. Balsam. And there was some more, yes, more balsam over here. I guess we're going up the ladder. Campfire is lit. Ooh. Silver pendant that can cast guidance. Well, I'll... Necklace matches the sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. I guess I'll hang on to that necklace for when I don't have Shadowheart in the party. Back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Amity inspects the spiders. Not really sure why she's doing so. Creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt, a spider egg is nestled within. Okay, I don't, well, I don't want the spider bag. I'll just leave that alone. Yes. Well, I suppose that was the, uh, the cache. Ooh, nice view. That's interesting over there with those... And I know what that is from previous playthroughs. Never knew what you, uh, never knew that you could see it from here, though. Hmm. Neat. Actually, hang on. How are we doing for... Mm. Okay, so she is out of spell slots. Maybe I should swap her out for Enough waiting. I crave blood. Looking ahead. Hmm. Can't afford to stay idle. But she's got those useful cantrips though. Let's get going. Also, 
Amity kind of doesn't trust Shadowheart and would prefer to keep an eye on her, I think. These boots have seen everything. Hang on, what's that? So the two on there. Level two evocation spell. Isn't Burning Hands normally level one? Three to 18, four to 24. Interesting. So the uh, her tiefling Burning Hands casts it at level two. I did not know that. Oh, and so this must be the thing that keeps showing up as a, uh, yeah, on skill checks. Yeah. Okay, because I wasn't recognizing it because it didn't have that icon. All right, cool. Did recruit a new party member, though. I think. Uh, Make haste. I would have words with you. Oh, Withers has something to say. Not this one, nor this one, and this one no less worthy still. Less worthy still? More riddles for my resident jester. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Uh... I don't think I have any need for hirelings, thanks. I did want to have Will join the party, I think. Astarian can stay behind for now. What do you need now? I think it's better if you stay here in camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. S just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. And he's such a cunt. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> okay, well. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devils, Ariel's own, chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Not exactly easy to journey to the hells from the Sword Coast. How did you manage it? A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Let's move on to other matters. All right. What else is on your mind? I'd like you to join me. That's the spirit. And he's leveled up, of course. Oh, um, by the way, I have uh, adjusted some audio settings that 
I don't know if it'll make a difference. I'm hoping that, because the audio wasn't getting properly recorded by OBS, I think some sound channels were getting dropped. So hopefully this sounds better. Um, now, some people noticed audio issues in the previous episode, or in the first episode, because I only uploaded episode one at the time of recording this. Um, but some people noticed audio issues, some people didn't. I adjusted a setting and it might have made it better. It might not. I don't actually know. Um, anyway, let's level up Will. Health increased 10 to 17, gained a Warlock spell slot, and, hmm, let's see, Hex, I think is a good one, let's, uh, make your attacks deal an additional 1d6 necrotic damage to the target and give it disadvantage on an ability of your choosing. If the target dies before the spell ends, you can hex a new creature without expending a spell slot. And it is a bonus action. Now, Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you have unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical prowess. Let's see, uh, Agonizing Blast, when you cast Eldritch Blast, adds your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals, unless it is negative. I think let's take that, because Will has plus three Charisma modifier, and if I get, if I can increase that, you can get plus, um, four. So that's pretty good, and Eldritch Blast is kind of like the main attack cantrip for a warlock and you can cast false life on yourself at will as a level one spell without expending a spell slot false life grants you seven temporary hit points that sounds very good indeed and what's his current spell setup Armor of Agathis, gain 5 temporary hit points, and deal 5 cold damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Or, uh, or, and rather, Arms of Hadar, 2 to 12, or 2d6 necrotic damage. Um, prevents targets from using reactions. On, tar on save, targets take half damage and can still use reactions. And I could change that for any of these. Now, False Life and Armor of Agathis seem a little redundant, at least for now. Although, this will scale as he levels up. Because of the way Warlock casting works, they always upcast their spells to the highest level available. So that will improve, whereas this stays at 7 perpetually. So maybe I should... To keep that as is, I'm going to swap that out for any hands. Of course, level up again, level three. Seventeen health up to twenty-four. As spells become stronger and thus, you know, level level two.
And I actually don't know how that scales at higher levels, if it does. So I'm going to make Will a uh, Pact of the Blade, because, I mean, he's literally the Blade of Frontiers, is what he's called. He, so going for sword kind of setup seems ideal. Uh, so Pact of the Blade, you can summon a packed weapon or bind the one you are wielding, making it magical. Packed weapons use the wielder's spellcasting ability modifier instead of strength or dexterity. So he's got a rapier, that's a finesse weapon, so he'd get plus one normally from dex. But this would make it plus three from charisma. So, um... That's going to be putting him kind of in, in melee a lot, or at least in close-ish range. So, I think mirror image. Uh, create three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers. Each duplicate increases your AC by three. When you successfully ev evade an attack, one of the duplicates disappears. Yeah, that sounds like a good one to have. And that is the setup I want for him for now. So, this, okay, he's got 1d8 on that weapon. And I could go with anything, but rapier just seems right. So the Pact Bound Rapier, that is 4 to 11, 1d8 plus 3. No one stopped me yet. Alright, let's head out. How much farther can I go? So, kids, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazelk Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. Yeah, um, Shadowheart, can we stop picking fights with people who are helping us? That'd be great. Thanks. Scrapwood shield. A hand-like symbol is artlessly painted on the front of this wood shield. So, is Will proficient with shields? Uh... Proficiency... Yes, he is. Well. He can have the shield, then. Did that change his... Oh, I thought I saw the damage number change, which would be weird. Okay, 14 AC. That's that's pretty no, good. No, never mind. I mean, not One day I'll catch amazing, but, but pretty good. Oh. Wish I had a bag of holding. People. People. Something's wrong. Yes. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. And that is suspicious. But first things first, his wounds look deep. I might be able to help. He's hurt badly. 
and Owlbear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Amity holds the man's stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna, new recruits. Yours, the shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. A true soul? What? Are you. Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. So this is the cult that the goblin Saza mentioned. So it's not just goblins then. Interesting. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. You! Brenna! Kill her! Well, that escalated abruptly. Um... Shoot, these... I prefer not to... kill anyone if I can avoid it. I think... Amity will try to... resolve this situation... Hopefully, non-lethally. Barrel shot. The wit on you. Time to strike. This is your end. I don't think I need to to use that. I'll strike for huh? No, I'm not even going to bother with that. That's Eldritch Blast. Yeah, let's just give her a good whack. Quick. Interesting number there, but, uh... On my way. You should search that corpse. Voice in my head. Can't say I'm a huge. Uh, back to the anus, spat you out. Can't say I'm a huge fan of voices in my head. Victory awaits. What is that? The um, the worm. I assume so. What path lies before me?
how about we don't all walk through the vines? Okay. Do you think you can search for you, Blazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Hey, look at that. You've managed to have a conversation without arguing. Good for you. See, it's not that hard. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Nope, 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 nope. Amity is, does not want to be influenced by an illithid parasite. But she'll go so far as... No, let's roll without that for now. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. That is, uh... That was unsettling. Have food that I guess we can take and always room for more. Don't really know what we're doing here. Ominous cave, and he said there was an owl bear around. Maybe let's not be too adventurous for now. Anyway, um, current priority is strange. Oh, it looks healthy, but it's stone dead. dead boar, but it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. Amity examines the dead boar. The carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Oh. We can add that to the list of unsettling things you've found today. What is that anyway? A bloodstone? Anyone can squeeze blood from a stone if the edges are sharp enough. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the druid's grove? This 
might be members of Aradin's band. Well, no sense in letting their sour face is tiring, Shadow Heart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. You're not helping, Wazel. I mean, on the whole, I think Lazel's less in the wrong than in Sh than Shadowheart is. But uh, yeah, not helping. Oh, uh, and I should, before I forget, have him. And this is at will. It's an action. But like, yeah, it doesn't need to recharge on rest or anything. No time to that rest. Definitely seems good. Moving ahead. Might be useful. Gather some herbs. Never know, they might come in handy. There, on the rooftops. Fresh blood awaits. Goblins hiding out here. really think it'd be in our best interest to try to fight them. Moonhaven. I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Not sure why Will is mute, but that is some fun dialogue there. Get over there! Surround him like! I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. I don't want any trouble. And I didn't want to be stuck mopping up nosy trespassers like you. Ain't no one getting their way today. As the symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Uh, just let me by and we'll pretend this never happened. it's best to save our strength for a real threat. Go on then. Just keep your nose clean. So Shadowheart was about to say something and then got interrupted. You're training uh, these children. He was so gentle. That's not how I was taught. I guess Will is just mute now. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned the lesson, after all. That is weird. Why... Why... Is there no audio for... His voice? A point? So, Will, what was the Blade of Frontier's toughest kill? Yeah, this is really weird. I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to see it. Uh, if I just talk to him normally... Well, 
Yeah, there he's. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. And he the Blade of Frontiers? No, but he named me friend, and that meant the world. But what of the others? The children never saved, the cries never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. I think Amity has heard of him, uh, especially being such an enthusiast for stories. She's probably heard a few tavern ballads about the Blade of Frontiers. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. Here. Ooh. Vision of healing. Antidote. So this must be ah yes apothecary the ledger is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants one entry is underlined deliver specially requested plants to the cellar keep away from prying eyes it says there's a cellar here somewhere intriguing I don't see one Okay, you know what? Well met. I'm swapping Will out for someone who can speak properly. Go to camp and wait for me there. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. I'm sure. I'll find you in camp. And just when things were warming up. Gale does not look well. Glad to have an ally. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. That's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. 
Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Kind of condition. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. What kind of items are we talking about, exactly? Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls. The form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. I expected as much. Don't worry. I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Let's see what we have to give him. I guess that guidance amulet. Thank you. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. So now you'll tell me what all of this is in aid of? Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. Now, do we take Gale or Astarion? Uh, Gale needs to level up, so let's take him. What's on your mind? Join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. With pleasure. Lead on. Yeah, I've spent, like, most of this episode leveling up characters, haven't I? Well, maybe not most, but a lot of it. And I don't remember which, um... School I... Oh, avocation, yes. So, I guess I should get him evocation spells. Not necessarily, since one of the perks of being an evocation wizard is that he can learn spells for cheap. step that's always a good one to have. And actually, before I level him up, let's Ready and ready. See what scrolls shouldn't have wished to live in an interesting town. Got um Ray of Sickness. And what spells does he have? Okay. He's already got that and he's got that. Seek and you shall find me. So, just Ray of Sickness. Okay, now, 
level up. And Misty Step. And... Yeah, let's go Melf's Acid Arrow. And prepare spells. I think I really need burning hands. Let's keep it anyway. Yeah, Grease, Magic Missile, Thunder Wave, Witch Bolt, Mage Armor, Burning Hands. Sure. And let's... Mage Armor. And give him Long Strider. Faithisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Malar, our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Well, that is intriguing. I think Amity is looking forward to learning more about this. If not, uh, if only just because, you know, it's their best hope of curing the parasite, but even besides then, sounds interesting. Extracts the Rule of Three. A long-winded introduction explains that Haskin Zesilafin's notes, quite a name there, published as is from their work journal, have helped bring al alchemy to the masses. It starts with a full history on the Dragonborn, who had been descaled as a teenager and started their alchemical research in hopes of restoring their hide. As the pages turn, it continues to wax poetic about how, Ze how Zesilafin put aside their own research to help the common people. Much more interesting, though, are Zesilafin's actual research notes. I have decided. I shall make all my notes, both those written and those still to come, available to those who would wish to study. You, reading this text now, are probably one such person. As enticing as potion making is, we shall first start with the most basic alchemical rule, the rule of three. Most ingredients can be found throughout Faerun. However, they need to be refined to be of any use in alchemy. Doing so is simple. Just combine three of the same ingredients, and you will obtain an extract, which can be used to brew potions, poisons, oils, and elixirs. So remember, three of the same ingredients make an extract. Or, in rhyme form, if you like. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. I love it when games have a, uh, you know, in-game texts that give, like, diegetic explanation of the game mechanics, because this is the actual alchemy system, is crafting the things with three ingredients and so kind of building that game mechanic into the lore of the world just i really like that that's that's neat also cool that we have a non-binary non character who uses they them um i know it's not an actual not really an actual character because they are only mentioned in these books but that still counts as a character and Still, love to see the representation. Very nice. This must be that cellar. Ooh. Potion. And 
Ingredients Mugwort No traps, please Seven ingredients Which I guess is a perfectly reasonable thing to find in an alchemist's cellar Don't waste a step Their potion of healing. Right. With nothing super interesting there. An old floppy hat whacked around more often than a clown in a tragedy. <laughs> oh dear. And scruffy vagabond clothes, which Amity already has. Action of animal speaking. Various herbs and ingredients. An elixir of poison resistance. A potion of healing recipe. This small recipe he has helped me through a lot. Without my scales, my hide smarts and tears with the slightest touch. While it has never healed me fully, every drop soothes. I hope it might similarly soothe whatever ails you. Someone has filled the rest of the page with repetitions of Why is it always healing potions? This god's damned primitive village! And the occasional Someday I'll kill that mongrel of a master! Luckily, the recipe itself is still mostly legible. Recipe for one healing uh, potion of healing. Extracts needed. Salt of rogue's morsel. Suspension of Murgrass. Method. Stir the suspensions until a vortex forms. Carefully tip in the salts. Keep stirring until the salts dissolve and the solution takes on a red hue. And keep in mind, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. A suspicious poison. Uh, I don't think we need that. A healer's log. Patient, Samson. Occupation, blacksmith. Malady, gout. Comments. Samson's become accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Patient, Branley. Occupation, Cooper. Malady, large wood splinter in hand. Comments. Splinter removed, wound cleaned, doused in balsam ointment and bandaged. Patient, Timic. Occupation, none. Child. Malady, swallowed bottle cork. Comments. No hardness or blockage in stomach. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient, Dida. Occupation, apprentice blacksmith. Malady, minor burns to the face and hands. Comment. Another burn for Samson's eager young apprentice. The usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts real harm on herself. Not her. The Sword Coast's finest well water, bottled for convenience. Yeah, should be useful to have on. And something over there. Well spotted.
it leads to ominous BPK. Full of coffins. Terrifying, but Amity is living for the the drama and I mean this is really cool narratively speaking. This is exciting. A is for Azuth and Other Gods, Volume 2. Azuth, the god of wizards all, who spent their whole life who spend their whole lives learning. He grants their spells both big and small, for Mistra always yearning. Bane the tyrant, the black hand, makes sure the strong do rule. He spreads his, his darkness through the land, praised by the harsh and cruel. Bishaba will bring forth your doom unless you chant her prayer. Split from Taimora in the womb, she brings bad luck to spare. Yeah, let's take that. Bullywog trumpet. And something over there. Let's have a dig, see if we can find anything of note. Scrolls. Now I know Gale has Thunder Wave and a Ray of Sickness. Does not have Why can I send to Astarian and Will? That must be new. Around, so I thought. Well. I thought that. Uh, no will ever believe this. Breathe deep and move. Yeah, I thought that you could only send to people in your party. Must be a, a new thing. Anyway, maybe a little disrespectful of the dead, but let's have a look in the caskets. I, Amity is. Very, very intrigued by all of this. Oh. Ow. So, it looks like the skeleton, uh, the coffins were full of skeletons. That honestly should not be surprising. Um, hey! I wonder if it's possible to hurt a bone construct's feelings. Your body is a temple to an idiot god. Well, maybe not that one. Time to strike. Taking position. A sixty percent chance to hit. Let's let's try a trip attack. Nah. We get these on the superiority dice. They recharge on short rest and Things that recharge on short rest, we're going to be having an abundance of because Never Amity, as a bard, it. gets Song of Rest, uh, which is not that one. It's... maybe she doesn't get it yet. Oh no, there it is, there it is. Yeah. Uh, which basically gives us an extra short rest. Position slightly. Will I be able to? Nope. I cannot. Well, let's action surge and try that again. Ah. Oh well. Gale. Hmm. 
two magic missiles should be able to finish them off, potentially. Three definitely will. Or no, three. Wait, I'm misreading that. Okay, so it's three D4. Well, whatever, let's just... Torment. I'm ready. And 45 on that, 50 on that, so we'll go with the higher chance. Ideal. Let's... What do I want to do? Do I want to... Can't target undead with that. I've got a scroll of burning hands that I could... That I'd probably... Hit Lazel if I'm not very careful with my positioning, though, and I'd rather not. Actually, no, I, I can do this. Scroll of Burning Hands. Ooh. Cutting Words. A Bardic Inspiration is recharged on Long Rest, and I've only got the one. What happens if you save versus burning hands? Do you take no damage or half damage? I don't actually know. Let's use cutting words. Alright. I am fury. I am death. <laughs> You know, for someone who is death, you sure are bad at hitting things. Luckily, apparently, so are they. Only a 60% chance to hit on that. Let's... Torment. Nice. Need to stay focused. And... To get this... On my way. Individual... Removed. Oh, come on. What do you mean I can't shove him into the chasm? Ha! Not gonna wake up that skeleton. A 55% chance to hit, but... I will ascend. Okay, I really want to... Finish this guy off before he gets another turn. So, let's... And uh, the superiority die is a d8. Let's add that to her attack. Nice, so that goes up to 80% chance. There we go. Ooh, a dark journal. Sixth Night Hall, 1371 DR. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lab secured. I have not heard the word Thay since we arrived. And only my apprentice knows me as Illentoth. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home. 
Not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death. It was worse to follow. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life... Uh, that prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zolkiers find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say. But if they do come for me, they will have to face the guardians I've raised. Creepy? With haste. Do I dare try to search other coffins? Oh. Worth it. Got some meme items. Shovel's friend finder. Shovels can be used to dig up wondrous bounties hidden beneath the earth. Just because it's pitted with rust doesn't mean it isn't ideal for digging up new friends. Scroll of Summon Quasit. Summon a Quasit from the lower plains. This scroll is destroyed upon use. Summon a familiar with the form of a quasset that can turn invisible and scare enemies. Inky notes slash across the margin. The angle of handwriting suggesting urgency. Perhaps warning. Well, let's give that to Gale because I think he can, yes, he can learn the spell. And... If I were to prepare that, oh, it's a ritual spell. Yeah, may as well. Oh, got an achievement for that. Shovel. Oh, Gale is. You recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. Illy? My master, tall, skinny, prick with ears. So, you're Shovel's master now. Fine. Your name is... Shovel? Master Illy calls me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it! You like to be called. Don't care. Shovel's fine. So, well first, Master? Gutting locals? Raising the dead? Making them walk? Making them scream? Yeah, enthusiastic little fellow, aren't they? Is that what you and your old master did here? Yes! Steal bodies, tear them, then Illy puts them back together, again and again! When he wasn't horny for the book. Oh, book this, book that! He loves the book! You're such a way with words. <laughs> Good with tongue. Good at cutting them out, too. Tell your secret. Talk to the mirror. And remember, balsam, good for burns. All right, what now? Hey. Okay. Very, uh, odd, that. But talk to the mirror, they said. Your name. I know how this goes. 
Magic Mirror, tell me true. What is your name? Um... Oh, what if I continue down this line? Magic Mirror, tell me true. Show me my fortune, none by few. The mirror is not amused. <laughs> Oh. Shit, uh... Get back. Maybe not the best idea to make fun of Magic Mirror. Oh, it's waking up the rest of the... the Guardians. Wonderful. Not how I would have phrased it, but okay. You listening? You've made a grave mistake. That, that broke your mock, Jester. Okay, uh. Frighten, what does that do? Cannot move. Frightened entities also have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Wow, this guy really is something, huh? I don't fancy their chances. So then can it be disabled? I mean can't reach Oh, everyone else is blocking him. Shadowheart, move out the way. What should I do? And I can't examine it. Why can't I examine it? If it's all fiery, I'm gonna guess that I don't want to hit it with a fire spell. Ah, that did nothing. Okay. I got turn on dead. But if this thing is going to keep waking them up, let's wait for it to wake up. I think there's just one left. And then I can... 60% chance. Let's give it a try. Hey, she actually hit that one. Nice. Ow. Wait, that's 55. Hey. That's 65. Toenail tasting trout hole. And nice. Let me recite their demise. Take this. Fifty percent chance to hit with that, fifty with that, forty-five with that. That's two to seven, that's one to eight. Swift and lethal. Let my name be known. It's at time to find a way forward. Okay, that thing was annoying. Let's take a moment, catch our breath. Prepared. My eyes grow heavy. Best to make camp. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? And good tends to come of ambition in stories like this. I would see you freed. No. This is my purpose. 
I know nothing else, but you cared to ask. No others ever did. Thank you. Be welcome. Oh. That was nice, at least. Laboratory. What were they hiding down here? Yes, let's search the creepy cellar. And hopefully that'll be it. The Collectania Vrubrum. You turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There are guides to transmuting metals and recipes for weapons of war. But more than anything else, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. And Moonhaven Logbook. This book is filled with pages and pages of observations, tracking travelers and people in the village. You turn to the final pages. 26 Elysius. Oliver Singe, merchant, arrives in Moonhaven, departs next day. Kalashite. 7th Elliot. Stranger, name unknown, passes through. Not Theon. Rashemi. 14th Marpanoth. Three men in black armor pass through. Not Theon. Second Uktar, Hackett, journeyman, passes through, not Thane. Thirtieth Uktar, raid, black armored soldiers, some damage, not Thane, but dangerous. Fourteenth Night Heitel, the book's key gem has gone missing. Familiar ordered to watch my apprentice. Fourteenth Night Hall. Singe passes through, doesn't stop. Fifteenth night hall. Familiar reports ap apprentice disappeared near well. We'll observe. Eighteenth night hall. Raid, same soldiers as before. Townsfolk taken. Twenty night hall. Smoke on the horizon. Raid. How far back is that? What is... What is it now? Do I have the date anywhere? Um, I don't, I don't know if I can find that information. I don't know what the current date is. Research notes. Ray's dead. Failed. Gone too long. Body decomposed. Reanimation. Failed. Came back as a ghoul. Had to kill again. Speak with dead. Failed. Answer's unhelpful. Clone? Failed. Needs living tissue. Reanimation plus clone? Failed. Had to kill both ghouls. Resurrection? Failed. Why? Magical curse? True resurrection. I have reached the limits of my skills and resources. The book offers help. Dare I accept? I really hope we don't find any more of those notes because my my voice is starting to go. Hmm. God, how long has this episode been going? 90 minutes, give or take. Bracers of defense become the bulwark. You gain plus two to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. Delicate twists of magical iron, painstakingly gilded, have been fashioned into these fortifying vampresses. Right, let's give that to Gale. Renders his um, mage armor useless, I think, but yeah, it is what it is. Never wanted the easy path. Watch how you go. There's a oh, trap. Get back, back, back. Trap. Um. 
Let's see. Let's have some light here. Can I? Or not, I guess. Disarm the... Hmm. She... Okay, she does have sleight of hand proficiency and dexterity. Yeah. Of course, the Stadion is the one who's like really good at disarming traps. If Amity didn't have sleight of hand, then Lazelle would be able to do it because she's got her Githyanki ancestral knowledge. But well, it ends not as bad as it could be. Wary. Oh. This place is trapped. Is this enough? What is not? Well, let's. Oh, I've got four inspiration. Might as well use one of them because any. Other uses will be wasted. Or any more of the game would be wasted, I should say. Because four is the maximum. Yes, okay. There we go. And now... Watch how you go. There's a trap. Marble plate. This needs disarming. And the necromancy of they. Let's crew pop, get everyone here, and I guess read this, or at least ex inspect this rather upsetting looking book. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. is all four books, but this one is so conspicuously malicious. I think best to get rid of it. Just gives bad vibes. Amity drops the tome, ready to destroy it. You feel better the second the book is out of your hands. What are you doing? That's the way to treat a book. The voices return, louder, stronger, commanding you to stop. But they have no hold on you. All you have to do is strike. Why is it still in my book? Uh, my bag? What? Oh. Vulnerable to radiant damage. Do I... What am I to do? Have... Only sacred flame. And that... Can't target the inanimate. I guess we have to hang on to the... Ugh. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. Because something like this shouldn't just be left lying around, that's... You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Uh, 
I guess... Tuck the book into your pack? Yes. If not over, then through. What is your interest in the astral plane? Time. Or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough, should Vlakith will it. Oh. That was an adventure. And that's going to do it for this episode. It's gone long enough. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the like button if you liked the video, or click the dislike button if you didn't. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you next time.